I am involved in looking after Ireland's natural heritage collections, basically going from a period of about five and a half thousand years ago back to 1.7 billion years ago. We have a fantastic collection of geological items here, including, as you can probably see behind me, the giant Irish deer. This is a fantastic species to examine, and we've got a research program at the very moment. That deer has bits stuck in its teeth from 5,700 years ago or a bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick those out. We're going to see what it was eating. We're going to determine uh, the plant types, we're going to determine the vegetation, we're going to determine the differences in climate between then and now, we use that for climate change research. We can also look at the teeth itself uh, and see where these deer actually were within Ireland using what's called strontium isotopes. What we also have here is fantastic other fossils. So for example, we have very ancient plant fossils from County Kilkenny. They're the other a subject of a major research programme, this time involving Trinity and some French and Belgian researchers. And they're going to be looking at some of these very, very earliest plants that were on land in the world. So this has global significance. So we're looking at not just climate change in the last few thousand years, but also climate change and where Ireland was hundreds of millions of years ago. We have many other things here, of course, as well. We've got some great minerals, but one of the rarest types of quartz in the world called cotterite, and that is found only in rock forests in County Cork. When we fully reopen and we have this magnificent building conserved and restored, we will have a lot more space to incorporate aspects of the geological collections which the public has never seen before. I can't wait.